today we'll be discussing some fundamentals on web technology in the same time uh, we'll plan to design a static web page clear are you able to listen to me any of the students can respond please any of the student can respond I have unmuted you all. Any of the students will respond. Are you able to hear me? No. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Are you able to see the slide also? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you, thank you. So welcome all. Now I think very less students are 21 students are there. But anyway, we are covering the fundamentals now and gradually we'll be going for the how to design a static web page. Okay. Uh, here uh, in this web technology. Uh, this is the unit one. What I told you that you can see the syllabus here. Uh, the first one is the HTML tags that what we are learning for the last two three days. Uh, here we will be learning how to create some list that already we have done and how to create tables that also we have already done. How to insert image that also we have done. How to create forms. Also we created some forms. So in similar fashion also you can go for creating login pages, registration pages, all the things you can do. Okay. The validation other part that I will be doing using the javascript first and then using the php also i'll be doing that second time i'll tell you okay uh, then today mostly we'll be focusing on how to create this fair friends uh, while you are designing the static web pages and the next one uh, next class will be going for how to uh, use this cascading style sheet for giving style to this presentation how do we can use this cascading style sheet that will be the uh, main focus of the next class but today we'll be focusing some of the other tags which you have not used till now and uh, how to use these frames uh, because the entire thing i call it as the frame then i can go for some uh, divide the frames into different rows columns and all things uh, that, that is the that is the part we'll be using in our frames okay so then uh, we'll take some two to three classes on this javascript because javascript is a very vast area but i will tell you the minimum things how to Oh, what is the javascript and how to create object and how to create all the things and how to use especially how do you go for the validation of a, a login page and all things using this aspect this part will concentrate then some uh, dynamic html uh, dynamic html with this uh, javascript uh, so these are the things what i uh, told you initially that is uh, consisting the unit one okay i did maximum 10 number of classes will be there for this unit one and uh, i think video lectures i'll be giving you maximum six because the introduction and other things already two or three already given to you uh, what uh, what i am giving because I, I am facing a problem in this recording of this thing uh, what is already recorded that i am only sharing with you uh, you can understand but anyway both are same there is no difference but still also today also i am trying to record if i am able to record all the things also that i will be sharing in the youtube otherwise these things already available some other uh, uh, my youtube video lectures are there that also i'll share with you okay now uh, come to this uh, origin of this internet why it is so important because web technology whatever things we are developing finally we have to deploy or finally we have to uh, use internet so for that internet is very important for us let us see or have an overlook about the uh, origin of this internet if we remember sharply in the year 1960 the united states department of defense or what we call it as the us dod they developed a large scale computer networks and it was used only for communication uh, for program sharing or some research sharing i can say and remote computer access okay so it was the defense department darpa 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 uh, they set up the first network and the last node of this network was established in the year 1969 okay so it was uh, then available to some laboratories and universities uh, they were using simple text based communications email uh, and uh, after that, this NSFNet, if you see it here, I have written it here, NSFNet, it was created in the year 1986 and it replaced this ARPANET. So initially, what was ARPANET and it was only confined to the US different department projects. So then it was uh, renamed as NSFNet in 1992. Okay. 
so then it was available to some universities and some laboratories for public it was available mm, and uh, you'd be astonished to know that in the year 1992 this nsfnet it connected 1 million computers around the globe around the world okay and this 1995 this was the thing that happened in 1992 uh, around 1 million computers around the world were connected and in 1995 the NSF net was divided into two. But why? Because uh, they did not like to club this military part, research part uh, with the uh, common use like the internet, etc. So the first part was the research network, which is still there. Uh, and the second part, which is our area of interest, that is the internet. Okay. Now let us focus what is this internet and how to define this internet. Uh, a, we can say a huge collection of computers. Yeah, yeah, we put it here. You can say huge collection of computers connected to a communication network. So all these devices like your plotters, printers, laptops, uh, nodes, whatever things you say, all these things we can say when they are connected to a communication network uh, and these constitute the entire thing, okay? And they use some protocol also. Uh, we especially use the protocol like TCP IP. And this protocol was developed in the year 1982. And every computer on the internet can be directly connected to every other computer computer in the network suppose you are in network so all can be connected to all uh, so they have some addresses ip addresses uh, using that you can connect okay then immediately it comes the ip address or the internet protocol address uh, the ip address it is uh, this is the address of a machine connected to the internet okay so specially we are using now that is ipv4 what i have written it here uh, we call it the ip internet protocol v4 okay what's number so here it is a 32 bit numbers and binary number systems so all eight bits are separated by a dot or a period whatever you say that means first eight bit dot second eight bit uh, dot third eight bit dot uh, fourth eight bit okay so this eight bit numbers two to the power eight you can say it is 256 as it is starting from zero so it will be zero to 255 okay so in a eight bit we can represent maximum 256 numbers so if it is starting from zero it will be zero uh, to 255 okay so maximum um decimal number we can put it is the 255 we cannot write 256 to not possible okay now uh, we can see uh, how do we write all the things so suppose i write some 8 bit numbers 1 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 like that dot like that it is very difficult and cumbersome for us to remember so what we do we convert that into some decimal number system say for example 192.168.0.1 this is easy you can remember I, I can't say it is easy, but in comparison to the previous binary system of uh, IP address, it is a little uh, confident for me. I can say, suppose somebody asks you, what is the uh, server IP address of your uh, server in the uh, CSE department? You can say, sir, it is 192.168.0.1. So that at least you can remember. But if you represent all the things like that, sir, it is 111100001111, it will be very difficult and uh, cumbersome to remember and uh, tell. Okay. So now, for example, other 16 million say I'm starting from 12.000 uh, 12 to 12.0.0.0.0 12.255.255.255. Suppose, uh, for example, I'm giving a browser pointed at HTTP colon slash slash 209.87.113.93. So it will be connecting to some airlines, okay? Because this is the IP address of that airline, so it can be connected. So this number system uh what is assigned uh, for the ip address uh we call it the ipv4 ipv4 but that is there is a restriction that as the number of users it is increasing and increasing exponentially and in the age of uh, iot internet of thing so there are n number of devices or n number of nodes have to be connected so for that this ipv4 what is the addresses are that is insufficient because you are having four class class a class b class c class d uh, that will be insufficient to connect all the things because world wide billions of uh, nodes have to be connected. So they have gone for this IPv6 that is in the year 1998. And it was approved by the uh, things and uh, instead of 32 bit, we are using a 128 bit addressing system. Okay. So uh, then this is the thing. And we may, you may get a question on this IPv4 and IPv6. Uh, that uh, anyway that uh, you, you, you can refer the internet and some other things 
the details are there available already if you want also i can provide all the things to you so this is the thing but generally we are using ipv4 for all our day to day purpose but whenever we are going for any iot related things we will be using this ipv6 because more number of devices more number of nodes are that's very nice okay then we talk about the domain name so what is this domain name sometimes they uh, call you what is the domain name see even if i told you that uh, the our vvc engineering college server ip address is 192.168.0.1c but it is also again it's a four number so many numbers you have to remember no so instead of it is the name as vvc server or vvc odalaribu server then anybody can understand vvc odalaribu and, and server or something google or something like reddit so it is more convenient us convenient for us to remember the name than these so many numbers okay so that what we do we map this ip address to a name or or to a name dot something like that this we call the domain okay so that i summarize it here like this it is difficult to remember machine number instead we can assign and map to a textual name and this name start with the host name followed by the progressively larger say for example enclosing collection of machines called domains okay for example suppose i write movies dot uh, max boss max bros uh, or brothers whatever you say dot comedy dot com okay so movies is the host name first i have given then this max brothers that is the movies local domain and comedy is the domain dot com is the commercial domain so in this way i say we are writing www.bbcec.org like that so we are writing www.google.com or google.co.in like that okay so in 1980 many protocols were developed why uh, why a protocol is required here i'll tell you because in a networking there will be different systems different uh, uh, nodes with different uh, configurations and different operating systems so they have to follow a common rule and regulations for that uh, we use some protocols we call it as a protocol so this protocol was developed in the year 1980s okay so as for example we can take telnet we can take ftp we can take ml2 so what is this telnet you see here man will observe uh, it allow a user uh, in one computer on the internet to log in into uh, and use another computer on the internet okay so if both are you are connected to the internet through some networking then one computer can log into another system other system can also log into your system these are things we call it the telnet maybe in the computer lab using telnet also will be connecting to uh, linux system and other things Uh, similarly we go for the ftp in the ftp uh, in the uh, ftp sir i am in middle of online class i am in the middle of online class yeah so what will be what will be doing it here suppose you want to transfer huge files so in that case we can go for ftp or file transfer protocol uh, here transfer file among the computers Uh, you can go to usenet and server bulletin all these data uses similarly suppose uh, suppose a user from one computer in a network to allow to or want to send some mail to uh, another user in another computer in the same network then it can use to mail to uh, protocols okay so in this way there are a number of protocols developed after 1980s and all we are using nowadays without understanding without knowing them properly then we uh, come across things like world wide web If you see it here, a new protocol uh, for internet was proposed in the year 1989. Because all the protocol I told you started in the year of 1900, 1980. After nine years, a new protocol for internet was proposed, and the group named as WWW or World Wide Web to allow scientists around the world to use internet uh, to exchange documents, describing their networks. So they used hypertext. Again, it comes another thing like the hypertext because in our Uh, html the first one is the hypertext uh, i told you that html so this hypertext what is there say something you uh, i cannot write entire things in one page so what i do i write a small word hypertext and provide a link here and the details about this hypertext is available in another page so what do you do by clicking this link here hypertext you can navigate to the details there some other places so that is the concept of hypertext okay so this it was developed previously it was uh, developed in the xerox note card uh, and apple cipher card in 1980s and when a document uh, contains not textual information 
it is called hypermedia so when the hypertext then you call it the hypermedia and the web is a fast collection of documents connected by links and the documents are accessed by net browser and provided by web server now there comes a question and sometimes you confuse uh, what is this internet and what is this web both are not same you see internet is summation of computers plus summation of devices to communicate so uh, what are the computers and devices they are in one network are connected uh, we call it that all the time it is an internet then what is the web web is a software plus some protocol when you talk about the web there must be some software they are writing and there must be protocol the common rule and regulations all the devices agree to work with okay so this is the difference between internet and web then we are going for web browser so web browser because why i am discussing all the that very fundamental things and you sometimes get some short notes on these things also so you must have fundamentally clear all the things before going for these things that's why i felt it important for the first 10 minutes i will take all the things then you will move to uh, the uh, creation or designing of a static web page okay now in this web browser what we understand it is just like a piece of program we can say so this is available in each and every computer of any operating systems and the purpose is that uh, through this uh, software we need to communicate uh, to the server okay so in the client server technology the client is a machine where through the web browser we need to communicate to the server to get some information such as data all things so in that case we can say server is just like a slave and its purpose is to serve what is the request and query of the client through the web browser if at all it is available okay so this is the definition and the first browser was a text based and in the year 1993 mozaic is the first graphical user uh, interface based browser okay remember that is the, the developed in the year 1993 a browser is a client on the web and it requests static documents from a server okay uh, that is the thing then we go for some protocol http uh, or in details we call it as the hypertext transfer protocol it provides a standard form of communication between browser and web server so as an end user to the browser you communicate to the server there can be different server one is the web server one is the application server suppose it related to web or word documents or html pages or etc so we can call it as a web server suppose it related to some applications like b a web logic and all things then we can call it as the um, application server here we are focusing on this web server i can give an example of this web server you see internet explorer uh, ie um, and we are firefox chrome opera so all these are the browsers these are all the browsers okay so these are the example of browsers then i give the example of web servers uh, that is the iis internet information server or iis that is provided by microsoft second one is the apache and nginx that is by russian uh, it is provided so the first what i told you these are the web browsers that is internet explorer firefox chrome safari so all the things and web servers are the iis that is the provided by microsoft by default it will be there that is internet information server or iis then the apache and uh, jinx by russian okay so uh, that here the thing is that a small number of servers um, can provide service to a number of clients okay so what happens in this process client server technology browser init initiates a network communications uh, with the server by sending the url okay so uh, what, what do you mean by url is that is the uh, here i am providing some ip address or providing some uh, domain name okay so by clicking that uh, from the browser by the end user it will try to contact or connect to that server there okay when web server begins communication it informs operating system to accept incoming network a uh, connection through that specific port okay so both the cases see whether as a client from the web browser or as a server there at the server side when you are sending a request the same time you also agree to the clause that that server whatever will be communicating it will be communicating through a port number okay so for example we provide some port number like 8080803128 like that all things are there so when you request then you agree that you will be receiving so that port port number okay uh, it informs operating system to accept incoming network connection so the specific port server runs as a background process on the operating system and web server sends data to client and close connections when the uh, client receives the data 
then it automatically closes. Okay. Uh, it also monitors the communication port uh, on its most uh, machines accepted the statement. Okay. Yeah, thing. Then we are discussing about the uh, key difference between HTML and XHTML. Okay. HTML is the hypertext markup language. Uh, this is, I already told you what is this hypertext and what is this markup language. Mm, but when this HTML combines with XML, uh, then we call that the XHTML. That is, remember, HTML, uh, sometimes you uh, you talk, some people talk about the DHTML. That is the dynamic HTML. Whenever we are uh, mixing this you know, JavaScript or this you know, PHP, uh, all the things, we, we call it as the DHTML. Or some, we make it dynamic, some go for the database connectivity and make the uh, dynamic, then we call it dynamic HTML or DHTML. But here, when HTML along with XML we are using, we call it as the XHTML. Okay. So HTML. Uh, it belongs to the original group of HTML. Okay, so HTML it is an ISO standard. Okay, mm, then you see the history. Uh, the Mosaic was the first graphical uh, user based um, browser. It was used in the year it was developed in the year 1980 or something like that. Mm, it was developed by uh, Netscape. Then Microsoft designed the Internet Explorer in the year 1995. Then World Wide Web Consortium WTC. It was developed in the year 1994. Then HTML2 released in the year of 1995. Then HTML3.2 in the year 1997. And HTML4.0 also it was in the latter part of the 1997. It was there. Then HTML4.01 it was developed in the year of 1999. And it has some uh, loose syntax rules. So it does not stick onto the syntax rule. And XML was the alternative to the HTML. HTML and XHTML documents uh, served uh, with the application that is a combination of HTML plus XML, uh, what I told you that. And the first version of XHTML was XHTML 1.0. Uh, it was available in the year uh, 2001, proposed by the World Wide Web W3C. Um, and it is used as the MIME type also. Okay, it serves both text, um, HTML, and MIME type browser. Then came the version XHTML 1.1. And it was not compatible with the HTML 4.0. So there are some compatibility issues. Uh, then came the XHTML 2.0. Uh, it is also not backward compatible with HTML 4.01 as well as the X, uh, HTML 1.1. Okay. So that's why when it is not backward compatible with HTML, because people have written number of code what they will do, they, they will not prefer this one. Okay. Then it came the web form 2.0, and we renamed the uh, web application 1.0 as the HTML 5.0. Okay. So now onwards, whatever we are using, we are using as HTML 5.0. Okay, what is the current version of HTML we are using 5.0. So the syntax rule of the XHTML 1.0 are strict, but it is legal in HTML 5.0. So that means it is compatible. Okay, so this was the history of this XHTML. And uh, here we are using a number of tags. And I already explained to you that how, what is the meaning of this less than exclamatory doc type HTML. Uh, this doc type command. It specifies that it is part of this HTML and it uses the DT. DT is the rule what you are using for this XML. Okay, that is the meaning of these things. Then HTML space language is equal to English. That is the language specified in English. Then is the head tag and closing tag head. Then title and closing tag tag. You can write the program. Then you are using some meta meta character set. That is information. Meta character set is equal to UTF-8. So it specifies the character set uses to write the document that is used as a 8 bit unicode transformation format uta unicode transformation format and it uses 8 bit so i write in such a uta hyphen 8 okay so then head body and all the things are there now we are discussing some of the basic tags see in the basic tag i told you that the first one whenever we want to use a block just like one paragraph you can use the tag opening tag p and closing tag p so suppose i want to put a line break i can use the tag it is not a pair but it is a single tag, single tag less than br slash br okay for preserving the spaces because inside whatever the spaces we are giving it will not be preserved okay so it will come uh, in contact with user so in that case you can write the tag pre opening tag and closing tag in between what you write as it will be uh, maintained or preserved Similarly, we can use the different headings. What I told you that H1 to H6. So H1 inside write something, 
H2 you write something inside the body, then you can see the difference, the font size, their boldness, and all these things you can see. Then uh, you can use uh, some block quotations like inside the block quote uh, tag, you can use a number of paragraph, it will be there in the quotation. Uh, then similarly, so if you want to make the font italic, then you can use this tag uh, less than i, greater than whatever the content you write inside, and less than uh, then slash forward slash and i. So the letter will be italic. So what you see this italic letter here, it will be there like italic. Similarly, you can use the bold and the tag you are using bb. So you can use also number of things are there. Uh, similarly, suppose you are writing some code like cost is equal to quantity into price. That is there you can use the tag like code, opening tag and closing tag code. You can also, you can go for subscript and superscript. Suppose I want to use subscript that uh, x, uh, x second. Okay, then you write x sub two. It will come like x up to here. Uh, suppose I want to write y q. You write y uh, so tag uh, super uh, three close the tag super. Okay, so like that you can use. And uh, there are also some other character entity. Uh, what you regularly or most frequently are using. Suppose you are you, you want to use some ampersand. So you write and ampersand ended with a semicolon. So less than and lt semicolon greater than and gt. Similarly, for uh, uh, quotations and for uh, apostrophe uh, or some fraction or some, some degree, 5 degree, 6 degree, 20 degree, 40 degree, say, providing some blank spaces, space and NBSP, uh, copyright, uh, this one and copy uh, and you know, all things you can use. Suppose you want to use an horizontal rule or horizontal line, then you can use the tag uh, less than hr slash uh, closing that one. So for meta, you can use the tag meta, okay, all the information. And you can insert our image. I already explained in the previous video image using the tag ing. And at the end, you put this uh, forward slash and close it. Okay. There you write what is the things and alternate. You can write the width and height properties. I told you. Then um, these are the things you can comfortably you can use. Um, similarly, we we can go for this HTML validations. The validation program I am not explaining it here because uh, that I will explain you uh, while we are going for this JavaScript. Okay. So uh, similarly, we can go for uh, link, creating a link that I already explained to you how to create a hyperlink or link. Then you can use the list. Uh, we can use the tables also. Uh, we can use, uh, no, uh, so a lot of things we can do here. Mm, similarly, uh, all the things we can use. Uh, similarly, while we are going for creating form, uh, there also we can create a form. We can use single line, multi-line comments. And you can use checkbox, you can use radio buttons, you can use menu, and all the things you can use it there. Okay, so these are possible. So I take your uh, one minute break. If you have any queries and all things, you can discuss, and we'll be uh, free to uh, discuss. Okay, yeah. Yeah, if you have any query, you can, because already I have unmuted you all. If any of the students having any query, they can ask me. Yeah, very good. I'm very happy there are 50 students are there. But I'll be happy. Some of you please ask a question. Uh, yeah, Tanmay, can you hear me? Tanmay, can you hear me? Yes, so. Yeah. So, is it okay up to this? Shall we, shall we move for our designing the static web page? Yes, so. So, this video was uh, audible and visible also? Hello. Are you, are you seeing the slides visible. also? Screen yes, was not visible? Visible, okay. okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Now, now we are going for how to create a static web page. Okay. So now I think already we have taken 30, we have already consumed 30 minutes. We will take another 30 minutes. Uh, how to go for a static web page design? Static web page design means uh, it will be there as it is, it will be displayed. You cannot change any part and it is not dynamic. You cannot uh, uh, submit and you can get something. It is not possible. It will be just like a newspaper. What is printed only you have to read it. Okay, read it. So now I go for this in my 
Mm, yeah, I go to the C drive HTML, then I go for the static web pages. Okay. So can, are, are you able to see all these web pages? Are you able to see? Yes, sir. You read out and tell me what is there. Can you some of you please read out what is there? What is the screen says? Are you able to see the screen? Yes, sir. Amazon bookstore. Okay, great, 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 great. So now uh, you just imagine I am going to design a static web page on this Amazon.com. Okay. So what I do, I divide into some frame sets. The top one is the top frame set, and the middle one is the middle frame set, and the bottom one is the bottom frame set. Okay. The top one again I am divided into two rows. The first row it is related to some divided into some logo and some content like Amazon.com. The second row it is related to home, login, register, catalog, and all things. You can see also here uh, the cart also it is here. Just I click it here. Yeah. So you can see the cart here also. And in the left hand side, you can see in the middle about us, the carrier, wish list, location, track order, payment. And the outside, the right side, you can see when you are clicking something about us, ah, it should appear there. So when I'm talking about clicking the carrier, that should appear. When I'm going for the login page, it should appear. When I'm going for the register, it should appear. When I'm going for the catalog, all the things should be there. Okay. So now the entire thing, what you see, we call it as a frame. We call it as a frame. Now, uh, while we are designing the static web pages, how do you design uh, the different frame sets? Because part of this frame, I call it as a frame set. I can call this part as the top frame set. I can call this part as the left frame set. I can call it part as the uh, right frame set. Okay. So in this manner, the bottom one is also I can call it as the bottom frame set. Is it clear? Now for this, what you need? I am using a logo here. This is some images uh, that I have downloaded from the internet, from the web. Okay, that is Amazon dot uh, G for Amazon dot something, some file name that, that I will show you also. That I have downloaded and kept in the same folder. Okay, that you have to download and keep it in the same folder. And now, uh, because this is the Amazon uh, dot thing, now I am showing you the coding part also. Now I am uh, how I am using this part. So I right click here. And I show the coding part. Is it okay? Are you able to see all of you? Yes, sir. Uh, the font size is visible or I will increase the font size? Visible, sir. Okay, good. Great. So now, uh, the first page, the home page, that is Amazon underscore book uh, dot uh, something that dot HTML. You can name anything. I have, I have given the name like this. So here, what we are doing, I am not writing the starting HTML, this, that, that you write, don't write, doesn't make any difference because the frame set and all things by default, it is coming under that HTML, okay? You can write the entire thing, what I'm telling that, uh, there's less than, uh, exclamatory, uh, doc type, everything you can write. Without that also, it will accept, I'm writing it here. So you try to understand, You, if you remember the, uh, the, the, the website, what I've shown you, then I have divided into three rows, okay? So one row, first row, it is consisting 15 percentage, second row consisting 80 percentage, and third row it is consisting 55 percentage. There is no hard and fast rule. You can make the top 20 percentage, you can make the bottom 10 percentage, you can reduce it to some uh, 70 percentage. It is your choice. I have done it like this. You just how how it looks, uh, whether it is looking decent and all things. Accordingly, you can change all things. But it is a standard things. I am dividing the entire uh, frame into three rows the first row is 15 percentage of the center width second row is 80 percentage of the entire width and uh, do you understand what is you so if i say uh, this one this uh, the, the entire height is this one the first 10 first 15 percentage up to this the second 80 percentage it is up to this and the third five percentage is up to this okay so now first i divided then said what I divided, I divided the rows, remember? What I divided, I divided the, because this horizontal line I called it as the rows. So frame set, rows, which is equal to under double quotation, I write 15 percentage, comma 80 percentage, comma 5 percentage. Is it clear? So now I divided the entire frame into frame sets, and the frame set is first one is the 15 percentage, second one is the 80 percentage, third one is the 5 percentage. 
so this trend set i started the opening trend set and for that i am going for the closing uh, tag trend set here okay then i have to work for this first 15 percentage then under this trend set again i created a trend set and here i have taken the row is equal to 15 percent the first 15 percentage i am dealing okay so you take trend set row is equal to under double quotation 15 percentage and for this trend set you close this trend set here okay so if i am taking the first 15 percentage then what i have to put it there so you use a frame you use a frame and the source you have to create an html page where i have written top frame dot html that means what is the content of this top frame dot html that it will appear in the rows of 15 percentage and scrolling is equal to no i have given because usually in the top you don't provide any scrolling it is very easy to fix one is it clear or any doubt for anybody Tanmay? Tanmay, is it clear? Clear, okay good so the first row 15 percentage we completed up to this then i am going for the second part then what is the tag i have to use same frame set tag i have to use because first i use the tag frame set and then i close this frame set that is for 15 percentage for 80 percentage also i use frame set rows is equal to 80 percentage that is under double quotation and frame set under this rows i divide into 15 percentage and the uh, remaining so you will be confusing what is that one say for example uh, the first row frame set is over that i have given a top frame dot html the second one the middle one what i am writing this part from this point to this point column it is only 15 percentage remaining is 85 percentage remaining i am not writing just i am putting a star mark there you want a star means remaining here okay so now uh, you come to the coding part and here i am writing frame set column because under this row 80 percentage i am creating frame set columns is equal to 15 percentage comma star that means the first column is only 15 percentage remaining you can write also 85 percentage or comma star you are also it will take also the balance by default okay then for this uh, first 15 percentage i have to provide some frames and for remaining 85 percentage i have to provide some frames okay for the left hand side i am putting left frame dot html okay and for the right hand side i am putting right frame dot html so i use the command frame there is no closing closing tag for the frame inside the frame set by default you have to use this frame tag so frame source is equal to left frame dot html so you may ask me one question sir where is this left frame dot html where is this top frame dot it is not there you have to create that one the top what you want you have to create and create a file name that is top frame dot html the left hand side what you want to create you create once you create that link you have to provide it here Similarly, the frame source right frame dot html name you can give it the shortcut name l frame and here the name you can give it right frame, dark frame and scrolling is no for the left hand some of you please on please mute because some background sound is coming so similarly uh here in the right frame i am putting scrolling is equal to s why i am putting because sometimes the content may be more than the frame set you see so in that case i provide a scrolling but in case of the left frame uh, what is the frame size that i know and accordingly i am putting all the links so it will not see that's why i'm putting scrolling is equal to no there is no swelling there okay then uh for this this frame set what i created here that i close it here and for this frame set what i created that i close it here okay till now 15 percentage is over only one frame i'm putting 80 percentage i divided into 15 percentage and remaining some percentage so that i created two frames the left frame and right frame the remaining is five percentage then frame set rows is equal to five percentage and you insert a frame source bottom frame dot html and name is equal to b frame scrolling is equal to no close frame set close frame set it okay so in this first page or the first home page itself we have decided and divided the entire frame into various rows and columns how it will look okay but usually in the uh, modern website designs people are not following these things but it is a good practice uh, it looks good also and you can have and you can provide the various colors uh, using the cascading style sheet and you can make the various you now what i told you the deep hand span that also you can use in the left span the left frame dot com uh, dot html that you can use it also there everything what you learned previously those things also you can apply here okay so i take one minute break here and I ask you some questions uh, especially if anybody have a doubt till now that we can fly by 
okay so anybody got any doubt till now or you want to interact for a minute yeah you can ask some questions i'm very happy that 50 students are there but still uh, i think there are another 50 students that are lagging okay so mr dharani are you able to hear me i think you are not attentive it is not attentive so yeah then uh, so many people are not attentive maybe they are thinking that they know all things it is not like that uh, this lila lahari n lila lahari are you able to listen me lahari are you able to listen me not responding Sai Anusha, can you hear me? Sai Anusha, can you hear me? Saranya, Saranya, respond please. Saranya, are you able to listen me? Sanjeev Karki, Karki, Sanjeev Karki. I'm the middle of the class. I'm taking a class. Okay, I'll come back. So, yeah, so all people they have no interest in things other they know or they don't want to know. Anyway, we are continuing. Okay, so Bharat, are you able to listen to me? Bharat, Dharani, yeah, so. Uh, if you are comfortable, if you understand, then it is nice. Uh, then we are going for the first one that is the top 10. Okay. So now the top 10 I already have shown you. Now I am showing the coding part of this top 10. Okay. So I open with the sublime. You go to the top 10. Okay. The top 10 it is an HTML page purely. And I am writing the uh, HTML code like this. So you see here I am showing you that I minimize this thing. So you can see it is the top frame.html are you able to see this is the file name is top frame.html and in this file as i told you that it is purely the heading part it's starting with the html closing with html start with head closing with head title is top frame title i divided in the body background color i am putting light gray if you don't put any background color by default it will be white but i wanted intentionally to put some light gray you can try with different color light green or sky blue or whatever things you like use the color you write and try okay and I am using a table here because if you remember the first row, the first part there is a logo and the second part there is a content. Okay, so that's why I'm using a table and I'm using a border that is the border is equal to one pixel and width is equal to 100 percentage. And I am writing the row in the TR uh, for writing a row, I am creating the uh, using the tag TR. So I'm using TH width is equal to 14 percentage. And these 14 percentage, what you are using, it is only for this logo. Okay. So how to insert that image that you know here with that ing space SRH source is equal to amazon.png. So this logo already I have downloaded and kept in the same folder where this file is there. Okay. So then inside this table, inside this first row, and the, because I have divided into two heading, the first because header one and header two. So th I am using inserting a logo that is amazon.png okay are, are you able to understand if you have any doubt you can write or you can ask a question or you can raise your hand so which is equal to 14 percentage balance i'll be using for writing this amazon.com and the image source is equal to amazon.png which is equal to 100 and height is equal to 50 all the things is the first table header i'm writing it there then uh, again i'm going for the another th and here i'm using the style uh, so color i'm using blue font size is equal to 36 pixel and font family, I'm using Bardana. Uh, so these are the things you can use for the uh, various attributes and the properties. Okay. Then uh, this is actually it has to start with P and close with P inside the table header. It has to start with P and close with P. It is a paragraph. Okay. But what I'm because to provide some style, I'm using style which is equal to color is equal to what is the color is equal to blue? The font color will be blue, blue and font size is equal to 36. It will start with 10, 12, 15, 16. You see it is very small appearing. So I made it 36 pixel. Then font family I'm using Bardana. If you want to use something else like Times New Roman, Times New Roman, is that sense, so all things you can try. Okay. 
and all these attributes and their value pair they are separated by a semicolon that is most important you have to remember okay and the entire thing all the style what you are writing is equal to something it is coming inside the uh, double quotations right then inside that we are writing amazon.com then the p tag what i started the opening tag is the closing tag p and the th what we started here the th i closed it here and the entire thing is coming on the tr so i am closing the table so that means in a table i created a row inside the row i created two heading the first one is inserting an image second one i inserted the amazon.com so if you look at this you see it here the this is a table in the table this is one header and this is another header in this header i am using amazon dot amazon dot png logo and here i am writing uh, the um, i think uh, the thing that is amazon dot com okay so these are things then immediately i have to go for creating another table where i have to insert these links like home login register catalog and cart okay now you come to this thing then again uh, the tr is over and this table is over okay this was one table then i am creating another table uh, that is creating the tag using the tag table table and border is equal to 1 and which is equal to 100 percentage i am creating a tr and i will be closing that tr also here in the table header i am using a number of things first one i am using the home second one i am using the login third one i am using the register etc so for all the things you have to create a link so how do you create a link we have the tag a a is used for creating a link so in this table header means in the first heading the first column i write uh, home for that how do you create a, a the reference is equal to write from dot html so this is the uh, this is the this is the page you have to create write from dot html that again i have created i'll show you and target it is the right frame the name is home i am giving it here then close the ts second i am writing for this login third i am writing for the register the next one i am writing for catalog and the next one i am using it for the catalog okay then h reference card dot html and then target is equal to write them and it is the card and other things i am writing here okay so this is inside the table and i created the table row and i am closing the table row and closing the table is it clear so like this yeah So like this, I close the table, I close the body, and I close the HTML. Okay. So this was uh, how to uh, create this um, the the second row, second row. Now I'll be going for this. Uh, this is the left dot HTML. Okay. In the middle eighty five percent or say eighty percentage. Uh, this is the 15 percentage bottom and the 5 percentage middle 80 percentage i have divided into 14 percentage and balance in the 14 percentage i am using the left frame then i will be going for the coding part of this left frame. just you observe in the left part we are having about us uh, if you click it here you can see about us something is there then about the carrier what is the job opportunity is there then wish list when the, you can compare the prices when you the price in this that will be that you can go for that one then you can go for the location internationally where it is located the track order and the payment payment are not actually activated because it is the dining part so it is just have written pay online and enjoy product okay that while you are going for uh, creating the dynamic there other that will learn how to go for that creating that uh, the dynamic part okay now uh, we are going to learn how to create this layer frame dot html okay now come here uh cc uh top is over uh then i go for the left frame dot html okay so i right click and open with a sublime text okay then you see this is also purely html page the heading is there the body is there body i'm using background color is going to light gray because if you see it here the body is not exactly white it is a light gray light gray color it is there to look good i have already done that one okay so the uh busy color the background color is light gray and i am using span here uh, the first span because i told you for a one line i can use a span span is for i am using a reference because i am giving a link to that one also about that about that us then uh, then you have to create a html page for this also what is that page name that is about that html so before creating you have to create that is about that html so then you provide a link here so span is for and a is for providing a link a reference about that html this is the location where the HTML page is there, and the target is equal to right frame. 
and uh, about us and all things it is there okay target means when you click all the things where it will be displayed the content content will be displayed at the right frame similarly the second span i am creating the carrier again also the target is called right frame here the carrier.html and the third one it is a wish list that is also again i am creating wish list.html target is also right frame then the location target is also like the right frame uh, and uh, <coughs> the location is the location.html for creating this similarly track order and payment for all this item i create one page and the target is right frame when you click the left hand side uh, link then the output will be shown in the target page okay so this is all the thing uh, that we created in our uh, uh, this thing uh, then you can i close the body uh, here i close the span also because for each time i am getting a span and i am closing the span here i close the body and close the achievement okay so and you have already seen the output also uh, the left hand side if you do it like this at least a link will appear there and when you create that page and provide a link that one that page also it will appear there okay then we will we'll go for one by one for all the things now we go for the right hand side okay for the right hand side why, what is there we we'll let us see okay now come here and you go here for right hand side it will be just the uh, um, something like uh, Oh uh, yeah, it is the above. Okay. No, it is not about. Uh, it is about bottom login payment system. We say right from top from track order. Uh, we see it is still this Amazon the bookstore. You can click it here. Right click the uh, right click about the above. Open it the sublime. Okay. Uh, I think one one on on page is there right frame right frame is there no? Ah uh, yeah, it is a right frame. So right frame, you right click it here and you see the open with sublime text. You can see it here. Uh, in the right frame, the background color I am using white and T style color I am writing blue. Font size I am using 20 pixel. Font family I am using Bertana. So all the things it is appearing by default. It is coming. Amazon is guided by Core principle, custom or obsession, uh, rather than competitions, etc., and passion for inventions and commitment to uh, operational excellence and the long term thinking, like that. Or research oriented things are also there. Okay, these are the things it is in the right frame uh, about that I have given. So, like that, for each and everything, I have created one one frame. For you can say, uh, for the Amazon bookstore, the by default it is there. Then for the cart, I created one HTML page. For carrier, I created an HTML page. Uh, for location, I created an HTML page. For login, also I created login every page. Uh, similarly, uh, all the things are given. So now let us go to the login page. Okay. So now login page, you can right click and you can also open with the sublime. You can see the login page. Okay. So in the login page, I provide a title login and the body background color is got white and I put it in the center and I need a form. NSVT is also providing some spaces there. Then I have already given you and NSPP and N, sorry and BSP and BSP. Okay, this you are using for giving four spaces there. Okay, so then in this form I am using uh, the login here. Uh, this is the label and input type is equal to text name is equal to login. Ah, uh, there there. So I am going to the next line. And then password is equal to input type. Input type is equal to password name is equal to password. I told you that whenever the text is to be displayed, then you write type is equal to text. When the text is not to be displayed, it will appear like star, star, star. Then you use the type is your password. And then also you can give the same thing. And we are there. Then you type is going to submit. And value is going to submit. It will be displayed on that bottom name. And input type is going to reset. And value is going to reset. Okay. So all the things it should be there in the bold. And I put it B. And I put it inside the form. Then I am closing this form. And it should be center. That's why I am putting the center and closing the center. And enter things that is there inside the body. I'm closing the body and inside the HTML and closing the HTML. Okay. So in this manner, we can also go for uh, the payment. We can go for all things. You can go for that one. Suppose I want to show you the wish list uh, dot HTML. So you open with the sublime HTML. You can find 
this is a purely html page and the title is what we is and you can create a body what is the body what is there you can create a list uh, profile and add items to your list to keep track of the items you are eyeing um, to create a uh, list and hover over your list and at the top of any so all things are there whatever you want to write it there that you write there so what i want to say you these are purely html pages so for each and every things you see regarding regarding the location regarding login regarding payment so then i go for the register okay because uh, the new user they need to register so now i show you the coding for this register okay so while i am going for this register uh, you can find it here uh, i already show you how to go for the registration pages i am using uh, just i want to reserve the preserve all the things so i am using the tag pre and closing tag pre so username and input type is got text maximum length is got 15 size is got 25 or 18 so uh, and uh, what is the maximum length and what is, what is the difference of the things the text what you are typing it will text maximum length is got 15 and the size of that uh, whatever the in box you are putting it is 25 okay so then similarly you can go for the five password input uh you can see so what, what is the difference between this and these things this is just the label i am putting password is the label username is the label and this is just i'm putting a text box this is also putting a text box confirm password also this is the label and this is the password confirm password and never write input type you to confirm password because whether with the password or confirm password the input type is going to password both both the cases okay maximum length you write the same thing and size is equal to same thing then gender input type is equal to radio name is equal to a and then mail all the things you write it there okay uh, name you can write anything you can write the name also gender there is no problem on that but what you are writing something you keep it for because gender male female or others you have to put the same okay so then all the things are there email id also input id is text not change the input id 25 then address instead of using the text box you have to use the text area so address text area and then rows is equal to how many number of rows will be there horizontal line how many column vertical lines it is 30 so then close the text area then then i am going for creating the buttons input type is going to submit value is going to submit input type is going to reset and value is going to reset okay so in this way i am able to create uh, the thing and you can see after running you can see the output it like this okay so we have next one or two minutes because three o'clock i have to wind up all the things if anybody have any query you can ask and this uh, static web page i will be forwarding uh, so it is already there, but a second time I will be forwarding uh, through your app binder. I am requesting all of you to go through that one and a sincere request to you all. Uh, you like or dislike, you go for subscribe and also if you like, press a like command there. Okay? Like, like button will be there, you can like it there. Okay? So it's one request to you all. If you dislike, also dislike there is no hard and fast. But uh, uh, all of you practice all the things and if you have any doubt, you can write a mail to me or SS me, SMS me also. So next class will go for okay so i wind up the class here uh if you have any queries let me check what is the status of the students anybody raise the hand or created any yeah yeah Bharat. okay okay so tell me the software you are using somebody asked okay for uh, uh, what is the software you means that zoom we are using now for, uh, for for broadcasting all the things we are using zoom and for recording i am using something different that is uh, that is not free but uh, I, I can provide a link for that one also you can use okay any other things you want to discuss even if you can use discord you can use zoom uh, you can use number of options are available there some are paid and some are free you can use because already I created Zoom for AA, sorry, um, Discord for you. Uh, because the college had taken decision to use this software, so I'm using this one. Okay. Okay, so uh, Bharat told that so I, I missed some part before. Uh, the video will be uh, available um, for you. You can go through and please uh, write your comments there also. And the roll number again, Bharat, you can very interesting. Thank you. Uh, then I will download in my PC, sir. No need to download, just you can uh, see it online. You can also uh, see the video and you can also uh, like give a like on. But you, if you, you are requesting that, 
uh, you subscribe it because a lot of videos i'm uploading more than 30 videos you can it will reach to you we have any okay okay thank you all and because the three o'clock another person will be taking the classes so i thank you all and i wind up the session here itself okay